Hello people out there in YouTube land. This is Jacques Gaines. I am a videographer, photographer, musician. I do a lot of stuff. I do a lot of stuff. So today I just wanted to talk a bit about this bad baby right here that I just purchased, uh, just purchase, as we would say on Francais. <laughs> yes, I just wanted to talk about the FZ or FZ, if you are in Canada, 1000. Now, I was a purchaser of the FZ20 long time ago, a five megapixel camera, bridge camera, that was sort of the same as this thing. Same, same sort of thing. It had a power zoom on it, and it was basically, you know, just this way. The sensor was minuscule, and but it had, it. I, I believe it went up to 200 uh, millimeter zoom, and um, it was a very good camera. I loved it because the optics were fantastic. I had a Leica 2.8 on that across the whole zoom, and it was, uh, it was an excellent camera. I've been using a lot of different cameras. I've been using DSLRs. I've owned a six, uh, 60D. Now I own a 6D. I own the uh, Alpha 6000. But I needed another camera to work when I'm filming. And I really like the idea of 4K. And I will explain that in a second. Why I like the idea of 4K. A lot of people say, what's the use of having 4K? I will tell you, baby. I will tell you. So. Let's go through a couple of specs. I just want to talk about it a bit, and then I'll probably do a review after using it. But basically, I'm here to say, this is why I was impressed. This is why I went out and I bought this badass mother. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, it's a 20.1 20 me 20 megapixel, one inch MOS sensor. So it's a 20, 20 megapixel, which is kind of cool. Uh, the one inch thing, I'm just, eh, you know. I'm start, I like, you know, I got full frame and I just got kind of spoiled with that. But apparently with the bridge system and everything, it's a very good sensor. And sometimes one to one is kind of, kind of cool. So it's uh, very cool for that. It's uh, 25 to 400 millimeter zoom, 25 to 400 millimeter zoom. It's got a five axis power iOS stabilization on it. I'm anxious to see. I've been looking at a couple of reviews on the axis five, uh, five axis uh, power iOS stabilization. Some guys are saying it's great. Some guys are saying it really, really sucks. So we'll see what happens. It's got the XGA OLED electronic viewfinder. See how that works, if it's pretty good. I'm using the Alpha 6000, which I love. The viewfinder is fantastic. I did with my, you know, thinking back of my FZ20 my Panasonic FZ20 and there was a lag and it was a bit of a drag and um, so with the Alpha 6000 it was fantastic. I'm anxious to see how this can do and if, if it's good. It's got 2.36 million dots in the electronic viewfinder. We'll see if that's cool. Three inch fully articulated. Yes, thank you Sony. Go to hell Sony. What is this? Where's my Alpha 6000? No, it's not around anyways. Sony sticks to this crappy screen. It must be some sort of thing about patents. If you guys know anything about why Sony uses that crappy screen, that articulating screen, it's as if, you know, if the brazen, yes, we take it and we're not changing because we think it's fantastic. Despite the fact that five gazillion people tell us that it sucks, the wet one. It really does suck. Okay, what else do we got? I'm looking at my screen over there. Um, 4K, 4K, well, 4K, pseudo 4K. It's 3,840 by 2160 dots. It's not the actual big cinema 4K, but it is 4K. It's at 30p, which is not 60p, but still good. And the bandwidth is kind of fun because it's 100 uh, megabits uh, and MP4, which is really cool. 1080p at up to 60p, uh, and that's at the uh, highest rate you can get out of ABC HD and MP4, I think. I don't know if you can go higher in MP4, but it does do uh, 28 megabits, so it's kind of cool. It's got 120 frames per second uh, slow motion, which is gonna be cool. I'm gonna check that out and see what it's like. It's got a microphone jack. Uh, 3.5 millimeter. You know, I'm an audio guy, so I'm anxious to see what's going on here. I've had problems with every single camera I have because of the way they treat the input going in. All I ask for is that 
they say, do you want this to be a microphone or do you want this to be a line in? Because I like to use external preamplifiers because I like to get some great sound. So we'll see what's happening. Clean HDMI out. Therefore, anyone with external recorders that want to record at a higher quality instead of 420, record at 422. That is a cool thing to have. Clean HDMI out. Obviously, as you can see, it's the little miniature mini HDMI, which sucks the big one. I don't know if anyone knows about it, but it is not very good. It's got zebra padding and focus peaking, which I've learned to enjoy with the Alpha 6000. I really, I use it all the time now, all the time. I use focus peaking literally all the time. I love it. My eyes suck the butt one. So having focus peaking and zebra pattern is kind of cool. Uh, the battery life apparently is very good. Reviews have talked about the battery life being excellent. Uh, what else does it have? I'll check it out. My phone's ringing. Ah. Okay, what else does it have? Yes, yes. It also has uh, Wi-Fi and NFC. Um, Wi-Fi, NFC. I, I have two cameras that have it and I have not used them. I've tried and experimented and not been impressed. Therefore, I sort of drop the whole idea. Uh, I get connection, and with the 6D, I get the connection, I lose it, I get the connection, I lose it. Uh, with the Alpha 6000, the application itself is kind of lackluster, and that's to be, um, that's my way of being very, very nice. So um, that's it. Yeah, so uh, we're gonna see how it goes, see what I think, uh, see how it looks so far. The photos are fantastic. I've tried the 4K internal, 4K internal image, uh, the 4K uh, recording, and so far it is fantastic. Uh, I'll give the pros and cons and uh, everything and my impressions on this camera as a videographer who does photography as well. Uh, if you have any comments, please leave them down at the bottom. And uh, if you like this station, please subscribe. Um, more to come and uh, check it out. Thanks a lot.